G'day, Sambo here. Well, anyway, back here in Australia, it's flogging down rain. You can hear a bit of thunder going on in the background. It's settled down a bit from what it was oh, a half hour or so ago. It was really flogging down then. Anyway, let's get on to what we've got today. So today I'm testing out the fridge on this little solar system I've got going. Uh, you've probably seen the videos before. I've got a 100 watt panel coming through my cheap charge controller. My battery's 100% state of charge. We've got 12.7 volts there. I've got my lugs that I made up out of copper tubing, half inch copper tubing. A cheapy 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now all this extra wiring, this, I've still got the lights and the voltmeter hooked up. I've still got the pump hooked up. And over here, I've now got a fuse. This is a Blue Sea marine grade fuse. This is a fuse holder. We've got the fuse just here. It's rated at 58 volts, 300 amps for the fuse holder. I've got a 150 watt fuse on there now. Um, at its peak, the, the fridge will draw 750 watts. So I just want to make sure I've got enough enough there, and that's really just if it, things short out. So let's go in and have a look at what's going on with the fridge. All right, here's my fridge. I've got a Samsung 365 litre. That's about 13 cubic feet for Americans. 365 litre fridge. I've tested this with my kilowatt style meter and it draws about 750 watt hours per day. So we've got the freezer. We've got the fridge. And I've also got the kilowatt meter hooked up to it again. All right, 20 past 9 p.m. We've been going for about five and a half hours. Battery voltage under load is down to about 12.4 volts. This is where the fridge going. Right, it was about nine o'clock in the morning. You can see there my voltage is down to 12.1 volts, so basically 50% state of charge on this battery. I got woken up about five o'clock by the low voltage alarm on the inverter, so I came out and I turned it off. So there's probably about 12 to 14 hours of runtime off of that battery, which doesn't surprise me. I knew looking at the figures that this system couldn't sustain the fridge for very long. But at least now I know that if I do lose the grid for a bit, I can hook it up to this system and keep the fridge going for about another 10 to 12 hours Fairly overcast day today. If I had sun, this battery would be charging right now. Noisy bastards, they are. So, anyway, I'll go inside, we'll have a look and see what the kilowatt meter tells us about the fridge. There you go, the fridge was running for just over 12 hours on the battery. If we just dragged it down and hit the low voltage. 0.453 kilowatt hours. So anyway, that's a real world test on the fridge. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.